I greet you today in the matchless name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm grateful for this opportunity to pray in the Women's Global Prayer Conference. I would like to share the word of the Lord with you out of Psalm chapter 2, verse 7 and 8. It says, I will declare the decree. You are my son. Ask of me, and I will give you the nations for your inheritance and the ends of the earth for your possession. The revelation of God's purpose is for the nations is souls. And I want to pray today. Father, you have crowned and decreed Jesus as your eternal king. Father, I agree with you today. I ask for the nations. Every tribe and kindred of people will bow before your throne of justice. Thank you for your unlimited authority to crush rebellion, strife, contention, and division in the United States and the nations of the world. Hear the word of the Lord, you kings and judges who rebel. Against God's will in the earth, take instruction and ask for wisdom to serve the Lord in awe and reverential fear. Bow before him before it's too late when his wrath is kindled but a little. Come and be blessed with all those who put their trust in him. Isaiah 61 11. As the earth brings forth its bud and the garden causes things to grow, so will the Lord cause righteousness and praise to spring forth before all nations. Isaiah 60 18. Violence shall no more be heard in this land, wasting nor destruction, and within your borders it will not be heard. But you shall call your walls salvation and your gates praise. Amen to that. Job 12, 23 and 25 says, Humble yourselves before God Almighty who makes nations great and destroys them. He enlarges nations and he guides them. Do not drink from the cup of worldly opinions as a drunken man, but seek wisdom and counsel from the Lord whose hand is on the life of every living thing and the breath of all mankind. This is the word of the Lord. Amen. Be blessed.